Hello everyone, welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. I hope you are all having a wonderful weekend. Happy Sunday guys, how are you all doing? Now, today I'm trying something new. I am not on the regular camera. I am on the YouTube live camera. So hopefully this is going to be, you know, good. My system has now been updated and we did a test run on Wednesday. For those of you who didn't see the live show on Wednesday and it was good. And we have like perfect, perfect streaming. So I'm hoping today that we're going to be doing the same thing. I'm hoping that we're going to be having perfect streaming, no buffering. And just now my mic was a little low, so I'm just learning this new camera. So hopefully everything will be fine now. Welcome, guys. Welcome, 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 welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about stretch marks. And as you all know, most of us have some form of a stretch mark. However, we have a lot of people that have severe stretch marks. Now, stretch marks can occur because of pregnancy, you know, weight gain, and basically sometimes just you know, loss of skin elasticity. Now, some people have stretch mark that are yellow, um, brownish, bluish, blackish, all different kinds of striation. However, they are not harmful, but sometimes they can be embarrassing. Now, I have several um, remedies on my channel in terms of, you know, stuff you can use to diminish the stretch marks or to fade the stretch marks. Today, I have five oils that you can actually use to massage the stretch marks for, you know, getting rid of them somehow. Now, I am going to go to my regular... As you could see, I'm a little off today. <laughs> New system. All right, get it together. All right, I'm on now. All right, let's go to our regular um, shout out. Now, what happened, guys? Because I'm new to this camera, I normally have the chat right here. And then the, the picture would be here. But now I have to be switching back and forth. So I'm struggling a little. But I think I'll get it um, pretty soon. All right, hello, Karen. How are you? And then we have Noreen Wardak. Um, nah, bad smell. I don't know what you guys have been talking about. Linda Murray, and then we have Aquila Washington, Jenny Campbell, um, Anna Pantan, Kirika, Kirika Luca, Gugu Nagobi. Now, Kirika, Gugu, Anna, Jenny, Aquelia. You guys, this is the first time I'm seeing you on the chat. So welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. We also have um, Shanchal, um, Amanka, um, Pauline. Hi, Pauline. Mwah. And then we have Kiana. We have Dawn Daly. We have Stacy Classy, Sonia um, Banji, Sorara Vasquez. Hi, Linda Murray. You are not new. And then we have, um, Le oh, we have a lot of new people on the chat today. I just want to wish you all a wonderful Sunday. And I hope you are all having a great weekend. Now, um, um, Sharon, hello, Sharon. Happy Sunday. Sharon is regular. Reese, hello, Reese. And that's Reese Porter. Naris, Scott. Naris, I haven't seen you for a few days. I mean, weeks. Well, you know, we all were, you know, having internet issues, but now we are good. Elizabeth Singh. Hi, my friend. How are you? I'm doing fine. Now I'm switching back, guys. So back to the the topic of today, um, stretch marks. Now, I think I'd ask an earlier question, which someone was saying that, that um, text actually disappeared, which I noticed that because the, the question was, um, those of you who have stretch marks, what are you using on them? And what was the cause of you getting those stretch marks? But somehow that disappears. So I don't know what happened to that. But that's the question. If you're on the chat and you're watching and you have stretch mark, whether it is mild or severe, you can also tell us what you're using on the stretch mark to get rid of it. Also, if any of you on the chat that has actually used any of the remedies that I put 
put out there for stretch marks, now you could actually talk if it worked for you or if it didn't work for you. Now, one of the first oil that I have listed, which is if you look below, you will see the list of oils that are known to have to diminish the stretch marks. And the first one is argan oil. Now, argan oil sometimes is a bit pricey. However, most of the oils, well, all of the oils that I'm going to mention today, you could actually find them on Amazon. Okay. So argan oil, one of the pricier one, but is extremely good for stretch marks. And what you're going to do with that is just to massage your stretch marks. Whenever you take a shower, you just massage the area with the oil and you can do it two times per day. And that's all natural. It's really a wonderful oil for the skin. It's very moisturizing moisturizing and it also have um, a lot of antioxidants that are known to boost the collagen production and therefore that's it's going to help to diminish your stretch marks so oil number one is organ oil let me go back to the chat all right um magnolin um hello chichi happy sunday happy sunday to you leslin pickering Happy Sunday to you. Hello, Loretta Grace. Hello, I use black soap. So Loretta do have stretch marks and she's saying that she used black soap. So black soap also can be used to get rid of stretch marks, I'm assuming. How did that work for you, Loretta? And which other black soap are you using? Is this African black soap or are you using a charcoal-based black soap? Sanya, um, Baja, good Sunday. Hello, Han. I have some on the back of my arms. Will the oils help? Yes, definitely. If it's on the back of your arms, go ahead and use the oil. Now, the second oil that I have on the list, which is two, is rose oil. And all these oils are essential oils, guys. So go ahead and try them. The second oil is rose oil and also rose hip oil now if you watch my show a lot you will know that i use a lot of rose hip oil on my channel because i personally use rose hip oil on my skin this is one oil that i really and truly like to use once again the rose hip oil is a bit on the pricier side but a little goes a long way and you could get an ounce two ounce three ounce so you could know your pocket and know what to buy if you plan and using the rose hip oil now if you choose to buy the rose hip oil that's a win-win for you because the rose hip oil is not only good for stretch marks but it's also great to use on your face for wrinkles and fine lines i tend to mix the rose hip oil with vitamin a oil and whatever else that I'm putting on my face let's say I'm using some of my rice serum I would mix that in it and use it on my skin because it's really a great anti-aging oil so if you use rosehip oil you know that you can get several different uses out of it so go ahead and try the rosehip oil on your stretch mark for those of you who have severe stretch mark especially from pregnancy you're gonna mix any three of these oils together and you're going to use it on your stretch mark. So you're going to use it as a moisturizer for your stretch mark and you're going to massage it into the skin. Any three severe stretch marks, whether you have it on your stomach or you have it on your breast. I hope I don't get in trouble for saying that because nowadays they are so strict on what we talk about. So this, work, this week I post a video and that is actually about yeast infection and uh, somebody was very annoyed with me because I didn't use the word the JJ word I didn't use it in the video however I referred to down there and the person was so annoyed that um why would we you know listen to you because you can't even say the words and I basically was trying to explain to the person that it's not that I don't want to use those words anymore but whenever we make videos using those words the videos tend to to get flagged and also you have a lot of people from different culture that are not you know as open as let's say if you're in america so sometimes you make certain kinds of video and because you express something that other culture might be offended by then they flag the video so because of that youtube kind of take a stand and we're feeling the blunt of it because when you have educational stuff that you want to discuss especially about the human body your videos tend to get flagged and uh, 
you know, unmonetized and stuff like that. So now we try to avoid saying it if we don't have to say it, you know. So we just made gesture and for people to understand that that is what we're talking about. So that is the main reason why we don't get into full details anymore. OK, so I hope I answered that person question that was a little annoyed with me this week. All right. So lemon oil. Lemon oil is also another wonderful oil. And for those of you who cannot get lemon essential oil, do not worry. Get yourself lemon. Grate the lemon zest. Put that same lemon zest in a bottle with some olive oil. Leave it for about three to four days and use it. It's not, you know, the real lemon oil. But once it is the lemon um, oil is in the zest, it's infused in the olive oil or if you want to use coconut oil as your base and there you have your lemon oil which is going to do the same trick as if you get yourself um regular lemon essential oil okay all right back to the board um um Daphne, immature. Okay, Chichi, I got stretch mark from puberty and my boobs. I use aloe vera, which I'd really help to reduce them, but the upper part of them is still there. I have tried so many oils. Please help. Okay, well, um, Kiana, Kiana, I hope one of these oils that I list below will help you. Just look, and I also put a little um, description of the oils. So read through the description and try to find one if you have not used any of those before that might help you with your stretch mark. You could just play around or do what I recommend by mixing three different oils together. All right. So use any three, mix them together and try it. Karen, I have them. I use recipe of rosy vitamin um, E grapeseed oil. My skin is softer and smoother. So um, Karen is using rosy vitamin E and vitamin E mixed with any of these oils that I mentioned is also wonderful. And Nikki Asin, hello to all the thing I saw a uh, few of you on today. I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend and I love you guys right back. Business um, level over 9,000. Can you please show your right foot? <laughs> I wonder why. Then I would have to stand up. However, guess what? I'm definitely going to show it to you because I'm going to be making a video pretty soon without to take care of the feet. So definitely you will get a chance to see it. Okay. Tuba, all your recipes are good. Love you so much from Pakistan. Um, love you right back Tuba. And then we have Majita. Hello from Italy. Hello Majita. We also have a Faroes. My father passed. So I have to leave New York for a while. And I am so sorry to hear that. I hope you stay strong. on in there. And I wish you and your family all the best. Okay. And then we have Tawalina. Can I use olive oil for my face after showering? Of course you can. Just use a little and just massage it on your face while your face is damp and it's going to be good. Olive oil is actually great if you live in a cold place when the time get a little cold because it's an heavier oil and it has been used for centuries, centuries, generation after generation use olive oil on their skin. So go ahead and use some olive oil. Butch Yenner, what does essential oil mean? All right, essential oil is actually, it's a process to make the oil, okay? And most case is a form of a evaporating process. I would have to get into a whole detail on it, but what you could do when you're done, just Google what is essential oil and you will get the full layout of the process of essential oil, okay? All right, um... Elizabeth Singh, my daughter of my stretch mark, she used all different things, but nothing is working. But I think she have, she don't use it constantly. And that's another thing too. You got to be dedicated to it. You got to be massaging. And don't just rub the oil on your skin like that. It's not going to help. You want to take your time and massage it in a circular motion. Just massage it, not just, okay, and you're done. No. And you have to spend time to do that. So when you apply the oil, just take like a two or a three minutes to you know rub it in okay and just do it 
on a regular, and I'm sure you will notice some difference, you know, soon. It's not going to go away day one, day two. Um, three days get rid of stretch mark. It's not going to happen. Okay, guys, it's not going to happen. You're going to actually take your time, do it two weeks, three weeks, within a month. Well, after the first two weeks, you're going to notice that, ah, oh, they are getting lighter or they're not that, you know, shiny, stuff like that. But one, two, three days, it's not going to go because it's not magic. That's what I keep telling people. Daphne, where do you find the oils you're speaking? about all of these oils you can find on Amazon or anywhere over the internet or if you have your local pharmacy you could check with those now I noticed that um, there's a lot of essential oils in the pharmacies so you can check your regular pharmacies or for some people it's drugstore okay um, Micah V I love your recipe and the way you make your videos big up from me all right thank you so much Daphne Norman I'm in Texas what's the best oil for the eat <laughs> <laughs> That's, I, I'm, don't, I'm not laughing at your question. The reason why I'm laughing because it is so hot here in New York today. My AC is on and I'm still sweating. Outside is crazy hot. So I'm going to tell you the only one that I know with a, this kind of a eat right now is the grapeseed oil because it's very light and it totally absorbed in the skin. So if you're looking to, for oil to fight this eat is grapeseed oil, which is not on the board today for stretch mark. However, try to mix a little of the grapeseed oil with a little lavender oil if you're looking for something with stretch mark as soon as the you know the hot weather is off then you could go ahead and use any of these oils okay all right and then we have omoyila i hope i get that right janet hi chichi i'm janet from nigeria one of your super fun please what can i use for my dry skin and also ingredient for light skin all right now you watch my videos so you know i have several um, videos out there for dry skin and last week topic was actually about dry skin and we went into a whole list of things and ways that you can use to get rid of dry skin so when you're done just go on my channel page click on playlist and click on Sunday chit chat and you're gonna see the video with how to get rid of dry skin and you're gonna watch that video because that video is loaded with information about you know taking care of dry skin Lerbert hi Lerbert how are you happy Sunday looking fresh and as always there and I'm so happy to see you on the chat I know you watch the chat after a few weeks now but Last week you were in an hurry as usual. And guess what? I love your new picture. You're looking wonderful. Lerbert is Lerbert is one of my dieted subscribers. So I really have to give her a shout out when she actually makes the show. Nicola Dixon, I Chichi, first time here. Love your video and love you right back. And welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. I like when people come on the chat and they actually use the correct spelling for Chichi, because Chichi is actually with a C, but I couldn't get the C. So I go with the K. So normally when people use C, I'm like, oh yeah, all right, way to go. All right, um, Rita Ohms, thank you. And then we have Gamma. Here in Connecticut, it's very hot. Um, here, like in New York, please dry skin and a lot of dark spots and hyperpigmentation. Now, um, um, Gamma, guess what you're going to do? You're going to, I posted a video recently, okay? And I, um, I'm actually using that on my skin. It's about um, hyperpigmentation. You're going to go and look. I don't have the name, the title right in front of me. Other than that, I will tell you what it is. But when you're done, just write the word dark spot chichi beauty in google and the video will pop up maybe about three or four is gonna um come on so just look at it and watch the video and try one or two of those recipes okay all right hello and ellen you are late very late but better late than never i'm um, just made me some rice water which i think will help me cool during the summer eat i'll be putting this in a spray bottle and spread it regularly yes and guess what just had some green tea to that and you are good to go for the person who was asking about um dry skin um for the texas eat that's another thing that i did recommend for dry skin you can get the rice water which is pretty easy to make you could add some green tea to it 
And if you want a little moisture, you could add a little tip of the great seed oil, shake it up really, really well, and spritz it over your face. All that antioxidant from the green tea is going to help to moisturize your face. So just try any of these. And I have also a wonderful spritz out there. Um, it's about two weeks old. Just look for... Um, um, oh my goodness, I can't remember the name of the video, but anyway, just put facial toner, Chichi Beauty, and the video is going to come up. That is wonderful, wonderful. I use cucumbers and some other ingredients in it, and that's naturally a perfect, perfect, perfect spritz for this type, time of the year when you're really hot. And you can keep this one in the fridge. You could take it around with you and just spray it on your face, and it's really, really good. That's the one I have tugging around with me um, these days, okay? All right, um, Ankaji, that's U-N-K-A-J-E-D. What would you recommend for spider veins? And spider veins is different from varicose veins. However, the same ingredient that you use to make, to get rid of the spider veins do work for the varicose veins. And I have several videos on those. As, as a matter of fact, I have like several very, very popular videos um, getting rid of both spiders and varicose veins. So you're gonna just, it's, it's just gonna be there right on the page. But when you're done, just type in spider veins, Chuchi Beauty, and two or three videos is gonna come up. Um, the very one that is gonna be on the top is one that a lot of people swear by. It's a video that did over a million views because people really recommend that. Um, recipe. So when you're done, just go and search for the video. Okay. And I hope that is helped. The reason why I'm not getting into full details, because I know the time is going and I want to answer as much people as I can. All right, guys, now back to the topic, which is five oils that you can use to get rid of stretch mark. Now, the next oil, which I mentioned earlier is lavender oil. And a lot of people are familiar with lavender essential oil. For me personally, I'm a lavender girl. So I'm always have lavender essential oil at home. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to use the lavender essential oil to moisturize all of these oils. You're going to use it to massage and moisturize the skin with wherever you have your stretch mark. Also, guys, there's um, a lot of people swear by, I don't want to do a free commercial, but there's a cocoa butter that you can use and it's I've been around, I'm going to say it anyway, Palmer's cocoa butter. A lot of people use that. If you buy that, you could further enhance it and you could put any one of these essential oil in that um, lotion and you can use it on your skin to further help to get rid of your stretch marks. You're just going to enhance it if you're already using it. Most people swear that it is good, but you can make it even better by adding a little essential oil such as um, lavender oil, argan oil, rose oil, or rosehip oil to your regular stretch mark cream to get rid of your stretch mark okay all right so that's another oil and as if you're just joining in you can look below you're going to see a list of the five oils there's a lot more out there but i choose five that i think that is great and that i know that really works for stretch marks okay all right let's go back to the board and mike lit all right, Mike Litt, behave yourself on my chat. Now, note, Mike, that you cannot come on the chat and say rude stuff because I set my chat up where you cannot do that. I could see it, but my audience will not see it. So if you're going to come on the chat and you cannot be a grown person and behave yourself, I would suggest you don't watch my chat, okay? We're not here for jokes. We have young people on the chat. We have old people on the chat. And we have respectful people on the chat. So I... Really don't care if you watch my chat, because if this is what you're going to come with, just get off my chat, okay? And I hope you have a wonderful day. Watch the chat. Be a gentleman. I I'm assuming you're a little boy, because it's only a little boy that would um, make this kind of rude comment on the chat, all right? So be decent or get off my chat. I'll block you, all right? All right. Um, Clee, clee. Hello, happy Sunday. I'm watching from Spain. I love watching you. Thank you so much, Klee Klee. And Feinti, Adiboti. Hello, beautiful. Hello back to you. And um, oh, I don't have the time for you, Mike. It wasn't, 
just all right whatever ellen goodwin i use coconut oil olive oil and lemon oil along with brushing which also help to fade them yes and there's this thing that they call dry brushing which i think i'm gonna get into very soon guys so um ellen goodwin use coconut oil olive oil and lemon oil so there you see the trend at least one of these oils that I list is mixed in with other oils and that's the way to go. If you're using just one oil and you're not getting the result, mix it up, try another one, mix two together and see what happened. Okay. All right. Patricia Green. Good evening, Chichi. I've seen such vast improvement in the removal of my forehead wrinkle and the side of my mouth. I really um, love the mint safe and green tea toner okay i think she's talking about the 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 mint toner that is have with green tea which is what i was trying to to tell you um my friend in texas to go and watch that video and just use it during this time toner has done my face justice and i'm so happy these are the comments that i like i like when people use the stuff and they come back and they said yes it worked also if it don't work and you come back and you say listen this one didn't work i will also tell you well all right it didn't work just try another one because what don't work what worked for some might not work for other. Question, is the grapeseed powder as good as the oil? I just ordered grapeseed vitamin, um, aluronic acid and other powder. Give me your feedback. Okay, personally for me, I like oils. I like it in liquid form, but if you're somewhere and you cannot get the, the oil and you get the powder, um, just use it. Um, most likely it still have the benefit, but I definitely prefer to use oil in the liquids. Whatever I'm using, I prefer to use it in the liquid set. I've never tried the powder. However, um, Lerbert, I am going to go give the powder a try and then I'm going to come back and comment to see if I think it's, you know, worth the go. Yes or no. All right. I'm definitely going to give the powder a try. Um, Omelili, what ingredient can I use for my pink lips? All right. Um, exfoliate your lips. If you want to get pink lips, you got to exfoliate your lips. Keep it clean, all right? Exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. And no, um, Jason, stretch marks are not permanent. Stretch marks is when the skin stretch, okay? When the skin stretch, all of that collagen, all of the elasticity is lost. So if your stretch mark is not, you can actually do stuff on your skin to build back that collagen and it's all about circulation for instance if you get a cut and you have a mark and some people get cut and then it leave that you know little raise there and if you massage that and you do it continuously it will go it's similar to stretch mark stretch marks can disappear because i am living proof of that i do have a bit of a striation and when i spend the time to 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 massage the area it definitely will go now remember there are different levels of stretch marks you have people with light stretch mark but you also have people with severe stretch marks okay you have some people that gain stretch mark because of weight gain and also from pregnancy a lot of people that gain severe stretch marks from pregnancy is have a, a difficult time in getting rid of those stretch marks because they're very deep and you know and very like um rigid okay but if you have um mild and even those people with those you know rigid and huge and yellowish purplish bluish and um stretch mark if they massage the area it might not completely go away but it will diminish the stretch mark somehow so for those of you who are skeptical just give the oil a try give the moisturizer a try give the stretch mark cream a try use it for about two to three weeks and take a note but you cannot come and say not gonna go away if you do it one night or two nights and then you say it's not gonna go away okay eat it i'm in texas and i use the green tea and rice water toner and these extremely hot days love it so see that's the one that i'm using because that's the one that keep my skin cool all right tuba shea butter substitute and um i'm ignoring you mike i'm really ignoring you okay and uh, what's the substitute for shea butter 
get some cocoa butter. And if you don't have cocoa butter, I would suggest that, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you to use Vaseline, but just to mix um, a bunch of oils together. Um, but shea butter to me is in a class by itself, to be honest. So I'm not even gonna say there's a substitute for it. However, whatever it is, the moisturizing properties that you get from the shea butter, you could actually mix like coconut oil with some olive oil and vitamin E oil, and you'll get the same benefit as you get from the shea butter in terms of dry skin and also in terms of getting rid of you know um chop lips and hair care whatever it is that you use your shea butter for okay all right um um hello this is cheryl bartillo hello from aussie and oh god i so want to go i so want to go to australia all right sandra f Hi, happy Sunday to you. And Sandra is a regular on our chat. I've been using orange oil and coffee and it works wonders. And that is actually great too. That is actually one of my recipe. I use the coffee and coffee is great for stretch mark guys for exfoliating in the shower. And you could put any one of these five oils in your coffee and make a nice little body scrub and go in the shower and use it on your stretch marks. When you're done, you get out, you pat dry and you use any one of these oils on your stretch mark. All right, Elizabeth, try to ignore. Yes, I'm definitely trying. Hi, Jason Stone. Thank you so much. I love your channel. Andre Thompson, hello from Ireland and welcome to Sunday Chat, Andre. And we also have Omilili. Okay, all right, guys. Uh, his, his time is limited, guys, because he's really trying to make a mess on my chat today. All right. Um, Antixia, A N Anesti, Anastasia. I think I'm pronouncing this wrong. Um, how can I care my skin? I'm 18 and things does be coming on my skin. All right, your skin is pretty young, but you have to start at a young age. You're gonna do just what I told everyone to. You're gonna make sure to always wash your face at least two times per day. You're gonna wash your body at least two times per day. I do know some people believe in taking one shower. If you're that person, you take one shower. Now you're gonna exfoliate your face at least two times a week. If you don't have the time, you might be in school, one time a week is good. Your skin is still young. And fresh and you're going to use a facial mask at least once per week also now your best bet is to have your skin looking good for years and years to come is to get yourself a good old moisturizer and for you vitamin e is good start to use vitamin e oil at a young age and you're good to go all right just moisturize your face your neck your hands just Cover your entire body with good oil, olive oil in the winter time, and you will be good to go. And if you use store-bought products, just get yourself a good facial moisturizer. Also, in spite of the fact that you're 18, also get yourself a good cream for your under eyes. Just start early. And when you get to my age, your skin will look really, really wonderful. Okay? All right. Um, Lebert, my go-to oil are those you taught me about right now. Great seed oil, coconut oil, and olive oil. Also, my cocoa butter is an old favorite and a must-have to get rid of surgical scar as they are on even a trace. So you see the coconut cocoa butter? You can mix the cocoa butter with any of these oils that I mentioned for stretch marks, okay? All right, guys, um, we got a little distraction on our chat. Next week, guys, I have some things I have to cover. I still remember that we didn't do the Father's Day present. We're going to be doing it next week because we were having technical issues. I didn't get into it. Next week also, guys, guess what? We have another sponsor. We are going to have a giveaway next week all right so you don't want to miss our little giveaway next week for beauty club members you need to be active we have been some giveaways for beauty club members also so next week since we do this chat this week and everything seems to be running fine we don't have any form of a buffering and things is back to normal so we could get on with our chat and our regular stuff that we do like beauty clubs and our little special giveaways and stuff like that so Father's Day, people, next week we're going to announce the winner. I thank you guys so much for watching. And I was a little all over the place today because I'm not used to this new setup. But, you know, I'm learning fast. I'm a fast learner. And before you know it, I will be a master at this new setup. This camera 
today is actually my built-in camera and it is streaming through YouTube new system that they put in place, which is their new camera. And uh, um, I don't know if it's better than mine, but the connection and everything seems to work. And I guess that's what they want us to do. So today we went very well with no form of buffering or anything like that. And I'm very happy. Now, if you are not a part of the beauty club and especially this one and the Facebook one, you need to go and join because we have some wonderful things coming up. Also, I have my Facebook page and it's Chichi Beauty. You can also go and like the Facebook page. I also have Snapchat, guys. And you guys, if you want to know more about me, more about my personal life and my daily activities, then you need to subscribe. Not subscribe, um, join my chat. So you, you need to add me to your Snapchat and the link for Snapchat chat is list below just type the name in snapchat and it will come up pop up so getting to know me it's on snapchat on here it's just like you know on a sunday we do the regular chit chat but on snapchat you could see what i do you could see my family and stuff like that so go and join my snapchat okay and also i do have instagram which i don't post much but i'm gonna start posting so you can also go and um add me to your Instagram. All right. So thank you all for watching guys. And next week we'll come back and we'll get, I'll be a little more settled and I'll practice this week on this new setting and hope I could bring you good and great videos. Now for those videos that I post this week, I don't know if you guys are getting the notification. I could tell when the notifications are not going out, you know, as they should. So what you need to do is just to go and click on the page to see if I post. However, I have been trying to post videos at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So the daily video has been posted now 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that is the time that you should expect the video to be out. So once I do that, people, you will all know that, okay, it's 1 p.m. She's going to post now if you don't get the notification. And also, guys, if you subscribe to my channel, make sure that you click on the little bell beside the word subscribe, because if you don't, you're not going to get the notification when the video is posted. Okay, guys, thank you all for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you next week, same time, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another in our series, Sunday Chit Chat. Oils are argan oil, rose oil, rosehip oil, lavender oil, lemon oil, and the one I didn't mention is bitter orange oil, okay? Everything is listed below. Go and look and pick one of those or two or mix it together and use it on your stretch mark. Bye-bye. Have a good week, guys. Smile, drink water, keep yourself cool. If you're as hot as we are, spritz your face with some nice green tea and rice water and just be happy. Love yourself. Love your family. See you next week, guys. Bye-bye.